course it takes time. Any new environment will take time. And a child, you know, setting is not going to switch a child's behavior most likely overnight. But when we add in those proper supports can change over time. And oftentimes what we see is that, I mean, some, some children don't prefer a gen ed classroom, but some really do. And when we switch their setting and put those supports in place and follow through and are consistent and, and give them what they need that they can really thrive. And then you notice that their behavior just improves substantially because they have 30 peer role models all around them. Not always, but <laughs> they have so many role models. They have motivation to do the things that are asked of them when put in place properly. They have just built in reinforcement around them at all times. And it really goes a long way. And I think as educators, we can oftentimes get lost in the fear of the what if like, oh, this child has behavior, so they can't be in gen ed, it's going to disrupt everyone else. Well, you walk into gen ed classrooms and you know, the I, kids with IEPs are not the only ones that have challenging behavior. And oftentimes the, the challenging behaviors that are oftentimes reported on or complained about when it comes down to it are not behaviors from kids with IEPs. So sometimes they are, but that's okay. We have to really figure out what is the function of it and what supports are put in place. So if we're thinking about inclusive IEP goals around behavior, it's also thinking about you know, you can embed in supports that will help with behavior to IEP goals that are academic, social, different. They don't just have to be behavior. So when Johnny has access to fidget, op fidget options, Johnny will use one of them uh, during the lesson and will attend to the lesson instead of calling out or instead of hitting the desk or, you know, really thinking about what are those replacement behaviors that are pro-social that we all really engage in, but don't notice, like, what do we do when we're in a long meeting and we're tired, but we want to be respectful? <laughs> like, what are those <laughs> adaptive strategies that we can give our kids so that they can learn to, to thrive in their settings and feel good about being where they are?